Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 greatest modern Broadway singers. I make it look easy, but honey, believe me, it's hard. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's so incredibly hard, so inconceivably, unbelievably hard. For this list, we'll be looking at Broadway's biggest contemporary voices. While we adore performers such as Brian Stokes Mitchell and Adina Menzel, we'll be focusing on performers who have really made a name for themselves from the 2000s onwards. After the video, let us know which singer you'd love to see perform live. Number 10. Shoshana Bean From Alphaba in Wicked to Jenna in Waitress, Shoshana Bean has brought some of Broadway's most coveted characters to life. A former Hairspray musical cast member, Bean has made a name for herself thanks to her distinct powerhouse vocals. Not only is she an actress, she's also a solo artist, having created her own original albums. Take that as a sign of how fantastic her voice is. On the Broadway side of things, she's also notably starred in Mr. Saturday Night's stage adaptation alongside the legendary Billy Crystal. Don't throw their One thing's for sure, any day she's on stage showing off her chops is a wonderful one. Number 9. Renee Elise Goldsberry How lucky we are to be alive during Renee Elise Goldsberry's lifetime. The Hamilton star first dug her teeth into Broadway with shows like The Lion King and The Color Purple. And before Rent finished its epic run, Goldsberry actually performed as the show's final Mimi. You wanna play? Let's run away. We won't be back before it's a Christmas day. Take me out tonight. Yeah. <laughs> All this success led her to reach her career-defining role as Angelica Schuyler in the musical Phenomenon Hamilton. In the role, she showed off her jaw-dropping vocals and iconic rapping skills, winning a Tony for Best Featured Actress in a Musical. If you ask us, her voice is both a revolution and a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. And when I meet Thomas Jefferson, I'm going to compel him to include women in the sequel. Right. Number 8. Andrew Rannells I believe Andrew Rannells can do it all. Just look at how he left us in stitches in the Book of Mormon and made us weep in falsettos. I'll climb. You gotta die sometime. You gotta die sometime. The Nebraska-born actor's distinct tenor vocals make him one of the industry's most exciting voices today. In addition to his work on stage, he's also helped take some of Broadway's biggest hits to the silver screen, appearing in adaptations of The Prom and the play The Boys in the Band. When he isn't lighting up the stage, he can be found doing voiceover work for series like Big Mouth and Central Park. You're way too close, way too close. This is why it's bad to be too close. Number 7. Jesse Mueller. Delivering in everything from Broadway classics to more contemporary masterpieces, Jesse Mueller has one of the industry's most versatile voices. She can go from singing stuff from Golden Age shows like Carousel to something modern and pop-inspired from a musical like Waitress without skipping a beat.
Not only that, she can also transform her vocals to mimic others. Take, for example, her Tony-winning performance in Beautiful, the Carole King musical. A true chameleon, her career moves are always full of surprises. If there were an Olympic category for vocal gymnastics, she'd take home gold every time. Not a Lancelot, nor an angel with wings, just someone to love me, who is not ashamed of a few nice things. Number 6. Jonathan Groff so give me those bad dreams and the itch you can't control. Let me teach you how to handle all the sadness in your soul. When Jonathan Groff made his star-turning performance in 2006's Spring Awakening, he was only 21 years old. Years later, he's become one of Broadway's most prominent names. You say our love is draining and you can't go home. You'll be the one complaining when I am. As Spring Awakening's Melchior Gabor, his incredible falsetto left a lasting impression. As King George in Hamilton, his musical comedy skills earned him a second Tony nomination. He even took his range to the big screen in the Frozen franchise and shows like Glee. Are you happy? Are you satisfied? How long can you stand the heat? Out of the door, the bullets, the river, to the side of the beat. In 2023, he's reprising his role in the Broadway transfer of Merrily We Roll Along, where he'll be tackling Stephen Sondheim's challenging music. We simply cannot wait. Number 5. Ben Platt On the outside, always looking in, will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass, waving through a window. Ben Platt became one of Broadway's freshest voices when he took the world by storm in Dear Evan Hansen. In the role, he got into the messy and complicated nuances of the character by delivering vocals that were rich with emotion and depth. Years later, he's applied the same skills as Leo Frank in the revival of Parade. Composed by Jason Robert Brown, the tricky music requires the singer to deliver a timid yet powerful performance, and Platt knocks it out of the park with his heartbreaking vibrato. It means cancel all your parties, forget your big parade. It means the crowds will not be cheering, so despite what you've been hearing, you can lay down your spade. We have no doubt he'll continue to captivate audiences for years to come. Number 4. Jeremy Jordan I got nothing if I ain't got sin of Over the past decade and change, Jeremy Jordan has quickly become one of Broadway's biggest leading men. He started his career doing regional theater in Connecticut and made his Broadway debut as a swing in Rock of Ages. From there, he earned iconic roles in shows like Bonnie and Clyde and Newsies. His booming voice never fails to get our attention, and it feels like there's no musical style he can't master, from rock to classic to contemporary, and even Celine Dion covers. He's also shared his musicality on screen in shows like Smash and the film adaptation of Jason Robert Brown's The Last Five Years. Oh, maybe I can't follow through. But oh, oh, oh. A true modern star, Jordan's vocals always seize the day. Number 3. Sutton Foster It feels 
like Sutton Foster was destined for musical theater fame from the moment she was born in 1975, because that's how talented she is. I've got to know if I can be in 1996, she made her Broadway debut in the revival of Grease. From then on, the hits kept coming, and eventually in the 2000s, people began taking notice. With parts in productions like Thoroughly Modern Millie, The Drowsy Chaperone, and Shrek the Musical, her theatrical credits feel endless. Indeed, she's played everyone from Reno Sweeney in Anything Goes to Marion in The Music Man, cementing herself as a young Broadway legend. In olden days, a glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking, but now Plus, her gorgeous voice covers various styles and genres, and she can belt to the heavens. Number 2. Cynthia Erivo. Because happy is what happens when all Cynthia Erivo's first role on Broadway is truly iconic. The English actress performed for years in London's West End before hopping across the pond to New York. And I'll rise out of this shit, God willing, I've got something to bring. I can't sing, I can't sing. There, she made her Broadway debut in the 2015 revival of The Color Purple. Playing the leading role of Seely, she blew the roof off the Bernard B. Jacobs Theatre night after night, and snagged a Tony in the process. Although her career has been more screen than stage heavy in recent years, her talents are undeniable. Her voice is heartbreaking, powerful, and distinct, and will relish any opportunity to see her use it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Kelly O'Hara. This soprano transports modern audiences to the golden age of Broadway. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. <laughs> getting to like you, getting to hope you like me. Joshua Henry. A powerful voice that can effortlessly master both classic hits and modern ones. Sierra Bogus. We'll always think of this dynamic performer fondly. Think of me, please say no, think of me. Norbert Leo Butts, a staple of modern Broadway, Butts is always keeping cool. Dancing through life, no need to tough it, when you can slough it off as I do. Nothing matters, but knowing nothing matters, it's just life. Raul Esparza, his voice reminds us what a gift being alive is. Someone to crowd you with love. Someone to force you to care Someone to make you come through Will always be there Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ramin Karamlu
just when it seems that Ramin Karamloo has done it all, he finds a way to outdo himself. One more day more. Les Miserables, The Phantom of the Opera, Chess, Evita, and Sunset Boulevard are only a handful of his theater credits. The Iranian-born actor, who grew up in Canada, is an international sensation, having conquered Broadway, the West End, and everywhere in between. I always feel no more than halfway real. His powerful operatic vocals are tailor-made for characters like Jean Valjean and The Phantom. His starring turn as Nick Arnstein in the 2022 Funny Girl revival is just further proof that he isn't going to let anyone rain on his parade. You are woman, I am man, let's kiss. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.